In the case of an accident or a catastrophic event, insurance can minimize your financial liability and of course give you some peace of mind. It can also though be very tricky to navigate. So determining how much insurance we might need and in what areas can be a tough topic and here to help us demystify that topic <laughs> is Mike Adler with MC Adler Insurance and I'm always glad to see you. It's great to see you. Demystify is a great word. That, <laughs> it is, is that kind could of be mysterious. the word of the day today. That could be yes. a great word today. So first let's start with what's new and then we'll dive into some of these topics. Yeah. Well, I just thought we'd take, you know, some time today to talk about what my day job is. You know, we've talked about the kindness revolution. Uh, we talked about the foundation last time I was here and some of the other things that we do. Mike's um, a little busy. Yeah, I get a little <laughs> bit busy, but uh, it keeps 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 me going. But um, I'm seeing a lot of people that come to me right now that aren't properly covered in insurance. Uh, whether it's their home or their autos, um, their boats, their campers, their life insurance, their disability insurance, et cetera. Um, I'm just seeing a lot of gaps. And my job is to fill that gap for these people to make sure that, as I say, I want you to be bulletproof. Mm -hmm. So if something was to happen to yourself or your family or any of your loved ones or any of your partners, et cetera, in business and the business insurance, that um, you're, you're going to be okay. And I think sometimes we think about insurance as being expensive, but here's what's really expensive. When something happens and you're underinsured. Right? Exactly, exactly. So let's cover some of the different types of insurance right. and a little bit about what we might need to know. Let's start with auto. Auto insurance, uh, if you haven't noticed, in the state of Wisconsin, there's been some rate increases over the last couple of years. The Wisconsin Insurance Commissioner goes ahead and uh, allocates that to the different companies. Now, different companies that I represent and other companies that I don't represent raise the rates at different levels. So they will take um, a little bit more share. So you've got, and people call me all the time, why are my rates going up? Have you driven on the Beltline lately? You got people texting, putting on makeup, talking on the phone, uh, listening to music, kids in the car, uh, you name it. Uh, accidents are up, there's more people on the road, gas prices are cheaper. So what does that do? It puts more risk out on the highway and companies are uh, suffering more accidents, et cetera, claims, and they have to raise the rates to keep the doors open. Mm -hmm. And that's kind, of broad, that's kind of a broad answer, but that's really how it works in, in, that's in this world. Right. So, yeah. Yeah, boy, and yeah. there are some dangerous drivers right. out there. We've got to yeah, really I, be careful. I had some on the way over this morning. Thank you. Oh, yes. <laughs> on the way in. <laughs> on the way in. So let's talk about homeowner's insurance. So kind of covering yeah. the two big ones. Same thing again. So why did my homeowner's insurance go up or, or why, why do I have this coverage versus the other coverage? Floods, hailstorms. Um, we just had a weekend where we went from 100 degrees down to about 70 degrees in less than 12 hours. So you have different weather fronts that are coming through. The, and that impacts uh, what's gonna happen to your home. Uh, personally, my sister uh, up north, uh, thank God, not down around here, but unfortunately for them, a tornado went through their property up in Wapaka. Mm. And so they're dealing with that right now. I've, I've had some claims from Turtle Lake and Rice Lake, et cetera, like that. But um, you have to know and you have to have the right coverage for your home and make sure, I wanna make sure that you're not overinsured, but I also wanna make sure that you, if you call me with a claim, a catastrophic claim, we're not gonna have that uncomfortable conversation exactly. about you don't have enough coverage to rebuild your home. Or the right coverage. The I think right sometimes coverage. we think we are covered yes. by uh, certain events, and then until it happens, you might not know right. that it doesn't really cover that. You didn't read the fine so print. So a good, a good point is to, you know, whether it's myself or anybody else that you, that you know and trust, um, get a review. I mean, that's what we do on a day-to-day -day basis is try to make sure that we're helping people out. Yes, yeah. well, we appreciate the expertise. Uh, let's cover one more before we head to break umbrella insurance. Umbrella insurance, so if you have assets to cover, you wanna have an umbrella policy because if something does happen on the liability side, um, you're subject to litigation. And I always, I, I say this kind of in a glib remark, but if you're driving down a county trunk and you happen to hit the guy that makes a lot of money on his bike, his wife and his family is going to want to get paid out. So how is that going to happen? Well, your liability insurance that is on your car, 
and your home and your umbrella in combination, whatever situation that would be, that would be where they would be turning to so you don't have to go dip into personal assets. And I know for a lot of people watching, if you're like me, you know, sometimes it's not the most exciting thing to look no. into, talk about, no. but that's where having an expert is really helpful because you don't have to do all the research. You can, you can ask the expert, expert and get, leave it to, leave it to us, get yep. some information on that. There's a lot we didn't cover life insurance. We want to talk about long-term care and disability insurance, I think is one that a lot of people will want to discover if you're covered or not. So maybe we'll talk about that next time we see Sounds you, Mike. Good. Thanks so much for being here. Thank you. Mike is with MC Adler Insurance and we're with Talk Wisconsin. We'll be back after the break.